and welcome to another episode of, yep, you guessed it, The Shirtless Painter. Anyone can paint, and anyone can paint anything, including my very special guest, my good friend and fellow artist, Mr. Reggie Watts. Hey. Reggie, thank you so much for joining us today. An exquisite guest like this calls for an exquisite painting. <laughs> and today, Reggie and I are going to be collaborating on a painting that we call Exquisite Celebration. We invite you to take off your shirt and paint along with us. We'll be flashing some of the colors on screen. Let's jump right in. When you think of celebration, mm -hmm. what's the first thing that comes to mind? I guess the song. Who um, and the gang, right? Yeah, I'm glad he had that gang. They were very celebratory. I mean, their music was just a constant celebration. Well, I think the more the merrier at a celebration, so I'm gonna go ahead and add just a bit of a gang here. Not a violent gang, but a group. I love the texture of this canvas. I've never used canvas before. It doesn't get much fresher than this. No, it's just got a nice, like, it's kind of rough, but, yeah. like, satisfying to touch. Yeah, it's like... That's pretty good. <laughs> Our gang is going to be represented by just sort of different colored dots right now. Let me just see where that goes. See where that goes. Reggie, I know yeah. you are heavily involved in music and comedy, of course. What is your relationship to visual arts? The visual arts. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I, I was always a drawer drawer when I was a kid and um, and I went to I took art classes and I got into AP art in, mm. in high school so Congrats. thank you it was really fun and but I was kind of like I stopped at lithography most people do I do know but just to confirm sure. lithography is sort of a form of printmaking it it's, uh, starts with a stone I forget the type of stone it is you draw on it and then you use acid which then etches into what you've drawn. I'm not sure if it's the negative or the positive. I mean, this is a long time ago. I was in high school like so seven years ago. But like, yeah, and, and then you would see the positive of the image. And so it's a form of printmaking. It might be a pretty old form because it's um, it looks old. Someday we'll rent some of that gear and do it on the show. Oh and you're welcome gosh. to come lithog with us. Yeah, some liths. You know, it'd be good to get John Lithgow. Ooh, sort of the original lithographer. Yes, he is, yes. I commented on this earlier off camera, so I'm gonna include it inside of the camera. I, I hate paint because I just wanna eat them. Mm, this is a problem that I run into all the time. I mean, look at that. This looks, this is like, ah. They look like the like nice thick sort of candy that yeah. you could just, yeah. but they don't taste as good as they look, and I mm. have learned that the hard way. Oh, well. And then forgotten and then learned again. I, I learned back in the day with Play-Doh. And Play-Doh has the added pitfall of it smells good. I know. It smells kind of good. So the look plus the smell equals you're going to, of course, try a bite. you got to try a bite. Try. I mean, it's not toxic. It's just not, no. you know, it's just not good. Did Play-Doh ever play off of, like, did they ever have, like, a Play-Doh Republic? Play-Doh's Republic? I think the little boy on the the um, cover, oh, you know, what do you call it? A uh, jar. jar. A jar. Yeah, yeah. I think he's, is he sort of dressed like, uh, Plato? Plato a little bit? I think he is. I think he's, there's some sort of subtle nod to, uh, yeah, you're right. They had to have known. They had, yeah. They had to They knew known. what they were doing. Yeah. We caught you guys. Yeah. Nice one. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, we were born uh, at night, but not last night. Exactly. Okay. I assume, Reggie, you were born at night. I was. I was born at night in the morning. Mornings are sort of the original night. Mornings are, yeah, mornings are the original, yeah, OG night. Remember Michael Knight? I don't know if I do. Uh, that, that might have been after your time. He was a character in a show called Knight Rider. Oh, I remember Knight Rider, of yeah. course. And I guess I should have assumed that. I knew his name was Michael, and I think it makes perfect sense that his last name was Knight. Knight. Yeah, his, he worked for Knight Industries. And then you had Mr. Feeney um, <laughs> yeah. in the car telling him what to do. Uh, uh, the soul that, of the was car. Was that the voice of the car? I believe it was Mr. Feeney. Guys, do we have any, anybody got Mr. James Feeney's G IMDb James page? Gandalf Feeney? Mr. Gandalf. Gandalf. <laughs> okay. All right. We don't want to spread rumors. But well, there's nothing like a confirmation that says that's, that's, that's what I heard. What's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. So you heard it here first, folks. James Gandolfini played the car in Knight Rider. So check that out. R.I.P. Since this is a celebration, we do sort of have a table of party favors here, as you can see. So one of those is a nice bowl of letters and numbers and oh, stuff. Shit. Okay. If you feel compelled, feel free right. to. Uh, I'm about to get compelled. Let's put this in here just because you need a little bit of, a little bit of Caucasian. Just right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Right there. Just a little bit there. A 
And if you don't have Caucasian um, color at home, you can mix a little bit of white boy white with um, white girl white. What's the cool thing about painting is it's pretty gender neutral. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you you know what kind of genitals you have to to paint. Um, I mean, you see cats painting, horses, apes, elephants, elephants. Yeah, so that's all gender neutral. Okay, so I'm just adding a little A here. A. Yeah, sort of a little Fonzie. A little Fonz. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sound off in the comments if you remember the Fonz. Hey. hey. <laughs> Probably after your time, but yeah. Yeah, it's coming. Check it out. All right. When did you start doing music? Ah, well, with music, um, we're looking at. I used to goof around because I was a big fan of Elvis, James mm. Brown, and uh, oh, Ray Charles. And so I used to. Uh, mimic Ray Charles as a little kid, like I was like two or three, so I kind of rock around and like, you know, look like Ray Charles. And then my mom noticed that, and then uh, I guess when I was four, I got I got a or three, I got a toy toy piano. I used to mm. play on the toy piano a lot, and uh, and then when we moved to Montana from Europe, uh, my I guess I asked for piano lessons, classical piano. And I took that for like till I was age sixteen, and then uh, I also took classical violin for eight years. Um, in the school system, because we our school system actually had money, and at that time the government cared about the arts, and so that was really sweet. Yeah, that was a cool uh, period. Yeah, it was a cool period. It was like, oh yeah, we value that. So I, I, I guess I've always been doing music in some form or another. Wow. I, I've always been in love with it. That's very interesting, because I feel like you see a lot of depictions of piano, well, you know, take piano lessons. Right. In popular culture, it's sort of depicted as this pain that kids yeah. don't want to do, but yes. you were interested in doing it, and you asked your parents if you could do it, and yeah. I would say that it probably paid off for you, right? Oh, yeah. I, you know, it definitely, it got me where I am today. I mean, I definitely will say I understand that thinking because I wasn't always excited about rehearsing. I had to practice a lot at home and sometimes I felt like giving up but you know that's where I discovered I like to improvise uh, unlike this show which is scripted but like tightly I, scripted I had some moments where I I just kind of gave up and then when I would give up I started drifting on my own uh, doing my own things so that's where the magic happens when you just when you're about to give up keep going and you'll, you, you might find something interesting exactly so I'm very grateful for that because man I tell you music is Pretty cool. You know, I'm a big fan of painting, as you can see, but yeah. music is pretty much up there for yeah. me. Yeah, they're related, you know, they're all related. It's all working with frequencies. I mean, uh, it depends on how often you do it, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Frequ exactly. Frequencies. Freak um, for me, it's high frequency, <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, man, all the way. All the way. Okay, Sonicare. Sonicare toothbrush. Yeah. Brought to you by Sonicare. I just want to give a shout out to our good <laughs> friends at Sonicare. We love what you do, and we hope you keep doing it for years to come. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just making sort of a... Oh, wow. Sort that, of a little box here. That is so cool. It's got corners, but it almost looks like it could be inside your body or something. Ah, oh, it's so good. Sort of an organ or something. Yeah, definitely. Now, is this the Fibonacci uh, sequence? Am I... Am I yeah, that right? I think it could be. It could be that sequence. Could be any number of sequences. There's a lot of sequences, but uh, but that's I think you're onto something there, and uh, it's also kind of like the Netherlands Air Force, but kind of like different colors. Oh, okay. it's kind of. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Doe me dag. Hoe gaat het? And that's the truth. That's the truth. The truth. I'm excited to paint because I've never painted before. Oh, really? So you're always a drawer or a draftsman. Yeah. First. I, I was always like. The old HB lead Love HB. pencil. It's a good one. It's I like, really will say that that's my that's my favorite density of it, lead. It and I'm not even no. I, I I'm glad to hear that because I just I tried all of them and HB. It's soft when you want it to be soft, yeah. and it and it's, you can control how much lead density you want on that paper. It's, it's sort of the universal donor of um, yeah pencil tip or pencil lead. Absolutely, I, I was a huge fan. So I did a lot of work with that um, when I was drawing the most, but then I kind of stopped. I mean, this will be my first official piece of art with an actual artist, a uh, visual artist uh, oh yeah, ever. Thank you this so is my much. first time, thank you. But like to complete a piece, you know, it's like that feeling where you're like, oh, I finished it, like it, it's done, here's the piece. Like mm -hmm. that, I haven't had that in a long time. I have like little scribblings and snorflings and griffles and you know, all the, whatever, sure, the yeah. art 
Norfies. Norfies, yeah, and the, and the clubs. And, yeah, so I haven't had one of those in a long time, but I do, I do miss it. And so when I heard about this show, I was watching HBO and they were advertising the show, and I was like, mm. I was like, I, I want to do that. So it was great to have an offer. Well, HBO increased our budget to um, you know seventy million this year, so we were able to afford That's Reggie. We were able to afford some of these new materials here, That's and so cool. you know we're just trying to do the same thing but better yeah. over at HBO. Shout out to HBO. Some of the best con- streaming content available, in my opinion, on TV. Except it's not TV. It's HBO. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're so good at that. Well, I was working for HBO um, for a long time, and I was like, "Why do you have to have a box office in your house?" Right. Because I, I literally would set up a box office, like you know. So if my friends came over to watch TV or whatever, they would like come by, and I would like say, "Oh, you can't go downstairs," you know, without right. paying. Get your ticket. Yeah, and that's what I thought it was, and then I realized, oh, that's just it's just a channel. I don't know. Like, I figure if I want to go to a movie in my house, I want to like, I want to get the popcorn. I want to like sure, pay, yeah. pay with like, pay a person I don't under, understand or know. Right. Have someone take a little piece of paper, rip it. Yes. Give half back to you. Say, go right ahead. It's on the left or the right, whatever the case may be. Yeah. Exactly. And I don't know. I kind of miss that. So, and they never did it. So it's kind of stupid. You know, HBO. I know we shouted you out pretty hard a couple of minutes ago, but I think you owe a lot of people an apology. So. But keep you know keep up the quality uh, keep up the quality programming. Yeah, I mean I love Mork and Mindy and all the stuff that they've been doing. Wheel of Fortune has been great lately ever since it moved. Thank God now that's in some capable hands. And J.J. Abrams is producing, which is so fun. It's just cool. It's very cool. You got two Pat Sajaks now, which is very cool. Yeah, two pack, two two pack, two pack, two pack, two pack Sajak. Sajak. Can you imagine what those two guys uh, would look like if they got together? Yeah. Yeah, remember that? <laughs> we'll see if we could get our graphics team to mock up what Tupac Sajak might look like. And I think you'll find it enjoyable. Yeah. Well, I can't wait. At some point, these are going to converge. I have a weird feeling. I think so, too. Yeah. New York got the feeling. Ooh. Tonight's going to be a good night. Tonight's going to be a good night. Tonight's going to be a good night. I got feeling. got a little paint on the end of my uh, (coughs) brush here, which was an accident, but I like to say on this show, there are no screw-ups, only pleasant whoopsies. So this, uh, you know, I just decided to sort of use this as as the front. Eminence front, right? Yeah. It's put on. Oh, we've got ink too. Yeah, I was actually going to... For you? Sometimes things just line up. It's like when you get a bunch of metronomes in a room. Yes. And they eventually all start to. Oh, that's up. right. That's true. Yeah, there's you like see a. See those videos of that? Oh, I love that idea. Like that probability of everything eventually syncs up and yeah. then, then goes out of phase again. But, you know, that, hey, let's phase it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's life. Phase the nation. Let's phase it. That's life. Oh, that's good. I love that. It's yeah, really you can dark. You kind of do a lot with this. So. I think any fun celebration would ha- probably have you at it, Reggie. So I'm just gonna like really quick do a little. And perfect. Holy sh! That's really. That's amazing. Well, you know what? I'm gonna try do a quick one of you just on the corner. By the way, this this has nothing to do with the, what we're working on. This is just extra. Oh right, yeah. So. Every canvas comes with sort of what's called filler space. So yeah. you know, feel free to use that for whatever side projects just, you, you want to be working on. I'm just gonna kind of just do this just to make it clear. Oh um, right, sort of an in- picture and picture. Yes, picture, picture and picture. Picture and picture. Picture and picture. <laughs> I'm even going to go, I'm so detailed about this and a little bit OCD, I'm going to actually continue this beyond the point. Oh right, yeah. So it's all three-dimensional. People at the gallery will appreciate that. Yes, yeah, so they're like, oh, here's a treat for us. 
This almost looks like, I don't know if you're familiar with those um, cups that you get sort of at the mall for soda. Oh, yes. Someone had to design that. I actually re did research this at one point, and it's a woman who's still living. She designed the, it's called Jazz. That's the name of the pattern, Jazz. Oh, Jazz? Jazz yeah, by yeah. Solo. It feels like Jazz, because you look at it and you're like, whoa, that's that's just boop a doop bop bop blop you know, that kind yeah. of thing. Which is what I think of when I think of Jazz. Yeah, absolutely. See, now I have my extra space here. Maybe this could be a good place to kind of do that. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. Like Incorporate the jazz. A little collage. Yeah. Like a collage <laughs> oh, <laughs> Feels like Apple or somebody should be working. Instead of focusing on iPhones every year, yeah. make a collage -oscope. Yeah, a collage -oscope would be so cool. Be so into it. Inky's the Fibonacci sequence. Yeah, get that sequence in there. Ah. But Reggie, I'm yeah. just going to ask you a few questions. Okay. And my first question is, Who's your favorite artist across all mediums? Ooh. Even though, obviously, a heavy entertainer, but definitely an artist, I'm going to have to go with Prince. Mm, that's he, a great choice. He did so much so well. And he looked cool doing it. Looks he so incorporates, cool. Uh, I would say Prince is in the realm of uh, the visual arts as well, based on his videos, his look, his just his self. He's sort of a paint, a living painting. Exactly, yeah. That's, you know, I mean, I could, you know, I could go and, you know, you know Andy Warhol, you know, those types of people, you know, philosophical artists, but really someone who just kind of was creating prolifically for a, through a lot of mediums. And for a lot of people, because I feel like, sadly enough, a lot of people feel turned off by what they perceive as, you know, art, yes. capital A, art. Yes. But Prince kind of snuck the art in there. Yeah. With, you know. Trojan horse, man. He Trojan horse did. Totally. little medicine in the applesauce. Totally. Now, I really like what's going so, on over here. So that's, that's this, this is you, and... Um, I think, yeah, and it's like, that's that's about as good as I can get. I'll put in some, obviously, like a, a dresser behind here. Oh, nice. Yeah, just like three-dimensional oh, dresser. Wanted, wow, this is maybe the most dignified that I've ever looked. And yeah. I own a dresser? I mean, what am I, a millionaire? <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining just us? Just in general. Yeah, just you don't have to say that at the end. We thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for watching the show thus far. It's not over. No. Don't worry, but... Thank you. Thanks so much, guys. We'll be right here, right now. This next question is a little personal, but... I, I could feel that. The X-Files. Cool or sick? Take your time. Sick. That is correct. Oh, yeah. Do you believe that anyone can do art? And if yes, I agree. I'm gonna have to say yes. I mean, everybody is constantly creating every day. You make a cup of tea, you're creating. You're piloting this biomolecular consciousness transport system. You might be creating. You might be creating if <laughs> yeah, so you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ever given yourself a haircut? Yeah. yeah, you might be creating. Or is that destroying? But is that the same thing? Well, Oh. oh man, this oh, is wow. tough. Look at that. I just wanted to add a little bit more detail. RT, please it's, RT. It's a uh, art. Yeah, A is such a. Oh wait, there's the A. Oh shit! I was gonna say A isn't even necessary when you're saying art, but yeah, we've got one just in case. Yeah. A. a. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh hey, I heard you guys were working on a um, a new show. Because when I came into the studio, I saw that you had a mouse. Oh. Yes, this uh, is a new project. The yes. new project, Immobile Mouse. It's still sort of in production right now, but it's called Immobile Mouse. It's about a mouse who lives here in the studio. It's sort of a spin-off show. It, the mouse can talk. He's kind of sassy. He's got attitude, and, but he can't move. Oh, he's oh, immobile. He so it's a lot of like, hey, watch where you're going, pal, and stuff like that. So yeah. Oh, got, there he is now. got him right here. Hey. So this is our little guy, um, our immobile mouse, as you can see, and he's happy to be here. And uh, what's that, immobile mouse? <laughs> yeah, okay, talk to me when you're mobile. <laughs> so right. anyway, keep an Get eye out here. for that show that's, that's coming up um, on HBO, actually. So. Yeah. Oh, we've got this tape, which is cool. This oh, yeah. Is, this, is, this is tape that's generally used by gaffers.
You know, growing up, my favorite uh, cartoon character, Gaffy Duck. Yeah. Oh, right. I thought you were going to say Gaffy, the comic strip. Yeah, the woman oh, named Gaffy, Gaffy was really good, too, though. And she's always like, Gaff, yeah, she's like, when oh, things go wrong. Ugh. She usually has trouble taping stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah. We, it's relatable, though. Yeah, it is totally. relatable. Totally. Difference between Gaff tape and duct tape. And it's duct tape, not duct tape. Quack, quack. Put that in your uh, cloaca duck. Yeah. <laughs> what? You know, like a duck sound. I thought you were talking about Chloe Seventy. Oh God, I would never say that about her. She's, she's so cool. She's very. Have you cool. seen her Instagram? She has a great Instagram. It's so good. Okay. okay, so here's a piece of tape here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I don't know. What do you think? Does it need another one, or is it two? What do you think at home? Should we put another face on here? Okay. They said no. Okay. All right. But just try and stop me from putting more tape on here. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Not even it's asking. Uh -uh. Not even asking. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of add some more over here. I think this stuff is good enough to go on the internet. Yeah, I think so. Internet quality. Suitable for posting. Yep. You've heard of suitable for framing. Well, you do the math. Yes. Although I understand if you don't want to do the math. Right. Nobody wants to do math. No one does, but if you're someone who loves math and yeah. you're like, uh, <laughs> you know, okay, you don't get enough at school. Yeah. Teacher, uh, we have, I forgot to, we, you forgot to give us homework. Yeah. Now I'm telling you and we all have to do it. Like just talk to your teacher after class. Right. And maybe they'll give you a special assignment if you're that desperate. Yeah, to desperate. Do. Thank you. Yeah, if you're it's, that desperate. It's desperate. Math. To ask the teacher, please give me math homework, it's des it comes off desperate. It does really and come off desperate. And I know you're desperate. I know you're just a kid, but yeah. it's So yeah, we don't want to be too harsh on you. But, but you're gonna have to grow up, you know, yeah. I don't know, at some point. So and I really hate to come down on you like this, because you know, yeah. you are my niece's friend, but and I know you're getting upset, but you know what, let's we should probably yeah. have we're just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we're just kidding. We know it's your birthday, so <laughs> just have fun. Yeah. Enjoy the party. We'll yeah. talk later. Go math. <laughs> yeah, math rules. Go Panthers. We love math. Yeah, go Panthers. <laughs> we love math. I love math. Once in a while, I get in front of a computer and I see a tweet, and yes. I noticed you tweeted something that was sort of near and dear to my heart. I don't get mad about much stuff, but uh -huh. it was just about how people don't use turn signals when they turn <laughs> in their or when they're driving in their car. Uh -huh. And I was just wondering if you had, you know, anything else to say about that. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a huge issue for me because you know it's like indicate, and also don't indicate and turn at the same time. Indicate, wait a couple seconds, then turn. And again, Josie, not to come down on you twice yeah. Yeah. on your birthday, but use your so. turn signals. And happy, you know, happy seventh. Yeah, happy also. seventh. Yeah. Oh, this is looking good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna really put a little bit because it needs a little bit right there. Oh yes. Get a little bit. Oh my god, yes. So Reggie, mm -hmm. I know you're you're very interested in technology and AI and stuff like that. What breakthrough do you think is really gonna spice things up for us Ooh. as humans? Yeah. I would say augmented reality. Having to wear your phone on your face as glasses and seeing information floating in space is so much better than staring at a dumb rectangle all the time. Yeah. Because it's like, it's so, I feel like a dumb dumb. Right. If I want to stare at a rectangle, I'll stare at one of these babies. OG rectangle right this here. This is, yeah. All you younger kids get, you know, still the, the original and best. Yeah, the original and best and the thing that inspired it all. Do you think there's any risk of like, um, if augmented reality glasses sort of become the new phone, mm -hmm. that everyone would just be like giving each other wedgies and stuff all the time for oh, having glasses. Are you kidding? And calling each other four eyes. That's and what stuff. it's. That's what it's for. Well, the thing is that we, you know, we have these phones in our hands, which doesn't allow us to give people wedgies. Having a piece of cloth, like just uncomfortably, in your buns, is really kind of one of the best aspects of being alive. It's just a reminder that you have an ass. Okay, so any good celebration, I think, um, I would invite my wife to. So I'm going to go ahead and add my Ooh, wife. Oh, yeah! What's your wife's name? Her name is Darden. I am Darden. I will be your wife. Yeah, that's kind of what she sounds like. When I propose, that's what she I said. accept. Yeah, yeah, she accepted. I love you. I'm Darden. So I'm going to have my wife, um, she's going to be a, sort of a diamond kite, diamond shaped. Oh, kite. diamond kites. Yeah. Best kites. She's just kind of looking down over the 
celebration here. Just making sure everyone's having fun. You know, something that's really screwed up. The mouse is still there. Hmm. Now, guys, the mouse is okay, right? The immobile mouse. He, I know he's, I know he's supposed to be immobile, but oh, he just talked again. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. he's okay. That's kind of the one of the main sort of situations in the in this situation comedy is that people think he's a dead mouse, but he's he's alive. He's just immobile. So. Yep. It's not television. It's HBO. So I'm just gonna add my wife's eyelashes here. So one thing someone told me before doing this gig, because I, I asked like seven people who've been on the show, like, mm. should I do it? And uh, they're talking about that your eyelash work is like Oh, insane. that's so nice. I mean, thank you. Yeah, no problem. I uh, big friends with uh, Paula Poundstone, and she was talking about when she did the show, that was just oh, like... Oh, Paula mentioned me. Yeah, that's a big deal because she doesn't, she makes a point of not right. talking about people. I'm of the... Um, the Ms. Pac-Man school of eyelashes. I sort of do like a little crescent smile shape and yeah. then just some lines. It's um, just good. It's kind of coming out. From it's that. just good because it's like you really feel there's a lot of caring, you know, warm empathy. Mm -hmm. And then I just, I just love that. I just say it's the, oh, it's thank says, you so much. It says a lot about a painter. I remember uh, Judy Tenuta was talking about being on the show and she was saying that she also loved your. Eyelash. Oh my so, god. Coming from her, that is huge, yeah, actually. I know. And she and I haven't been talking recently, but to hear oh, that. Why is it? Well, there's uh. this whole situation with Judy. I'm sorry to bring this up, but there's a situation where that she had a pie cooling on her windowsill, and oh. people say that I took the pie. And oh man, it, come so. on. Did you? I did it, yes. Judy, I took the pie. I'm really sorry. I was. It smelled so good, and I will get you another one. If I have to bake it myself, I will get you another pie. So, I'm sorry, Judy. He's a good man, Judy. And the pie was great. I mean, for whatever that's worth. Judy, Judy, Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. That's from uh, a beach car named Desire. Mm, that was that Beach Boys album. Yeah, that's right. It was right. A sort of the parody album. Yeah, it was a parody for the... Yeah, yeah. they made it like Beach Boys <laughs> style. That movie was so successful. And like it was just so nice that the Beach Boys... Kind of knocked it. Took it down. Yeah. Yeah. Peg. yeah. yeah. You had it too easy for too long. Yeah, totally. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Okay, well, I feel great about what we've uh, accomplished thus far. How do yeah, you feel, Reggie? It looks really good. If you're feeling ready, we could cap things off by signing it, adding yeah. the signatures to it. Oh, I'd love that. I'd love that. Let me get a signature brush. Okay, so let's see. Where would be a good point? Um, <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to sign. Sucks being left handed. Oh, God. Yeah, no, being right, 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 right handed really sucks. Yeah. It's fine, and it's just today I'm not. I thought it was me, but this, yeah, this oh. thing is definitely. Oh, it's just have to have, it's happening for me, too. Oh, man. Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I just want to thank my guest so much. Reggie, thank you so much for painting with me today. It yeah. was a true pleasure. I think this definitely feels like an exquisite celebration, and I invite all of you to have an exquisite celebration of your own. Take off your shirt and paint with us and check out Reggie doing stuff pretty much all over the world, um, doing music, doing art, doing comedy. He covers it all, and that's why he's wearing coveralls. Yeah, that was sort <laughs> that's, of that. That's funny. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Shirtless Painter. We'll see you next time only on HBO.